Parks and Recreation in Indiana. This is a series of presentations exploring the wonders of the natural world across Indiana, sponsored by the Southwestern Indiana Historical Society. Today, we are going to explore Turkey Run State Park. The history and the development of parks and wilderness reserves in Indiana begins with Richard Lieber, considered the father of the state park system. He was a businessman and a social activist. He was a German immigrant that moved to Indianapolis in 1891. From 1917 to 1933, he held public service positions. He was the first director of the Department of Conservation, today known as the Department of Natural Resources. He built the Indiana State Park System, developing a mindset of conservation of natural habitats. He did this by building on federal and other state programs that were also happening at the same time. For instance, the National Park Service was started by President Wilson in 1916. Other states like Maine, New York, California, and Michigan were all creating park systems. He also served on the Committee for Indiana State Centennial Memorial, which he used as a platform to get many of these systems started. John Lusk, son of the original owners, refused many large offers to buy the land for over 30 years. He wanted the forest preserved and not chopped down. But in 1916, 2,382 acres came up for auction. Mr. Lieber sold public subscriptions and got private donations and gathered together $20,000 towards the purchase of the area. He was outbid by the Hoosier Veneer Company, which bought the land for just over 30,000. Within months, Lieber had convinced the State Assembly to dedicate another $20,000 towards the Department of Conservation to purchase the land. The state bought it from the company for just over $40,000 and was able to preserve the beautiful and undeveloped land. Turkey Run State Park is just under a three hour drive from Evansville in Owen County. There are many legends about how Turkey Run got its name. One story says that wild turkeys, finding it warmer in the canyon bottoms or runs, would often huddle in these runs to avoid the cold. Deep canyons nestled in the shadows of sandstone cliffs and peaceful hemlock groves are some of the most ruggedly beautiful hiking trails in the state as well as miles of bridle trails. Historic sites at the park include the Lieber Cabin, named for Richard Lieber, the Log Church, built in 1871, Lusk Home, early pioneer home in Grist Mill, and the Narrows Covered Bridge, built in 1882. The Swinging Bridge across Sugar Creek was built in 1819. It is four feet wide and is hung on two one seven eighth inch steel cables, which are anchored on one side to a rock ledge and on the other in a 50 ton cement base. Before this bridge was constructed, the method of crossing to the foot of Rocky Hollows was made in an old flat boat, which saw service from 1884 to 1917. Here are some historic images of the park from the Indiana Historical Society. The property was originally settled by Captain Lusk and his wife in 1826 along the Sugar Creek, and they built a flour mill at the narrows of the creek. The original Native American name for the creek meant waters of many sugar trees. The park entrance originally had a wooden structure. The visitors drew through into the park this picture is from the Indiana Historical Society. Next to it is a picture of the park entrance today. Let's take a look at some of the notable features in the park. Turkey Run has a wide variety of natural formations and landscapes to hike through. This is known as the Ladders on Trail 3. There are nine labeled trails in Turkey Run State Park, totaling 16 miles in length and 14 miles of unlabeled trails. Boulder Canyon has erratics, which are pieces of bedrock from Canada that were carried here by the glaciers over two and a half million years ago. 
Some of the larger erratics or boulders can still be seen on Boulder Canyon Trail 9. Boulder Canyon is a beautiful canyon which contains the best examples in the park of the various water-worn rounded boulders deposited in the area by the receding glacial ice masses. Falls Canyon, another beautiful formation. The ice box on Trail 3, west of the suspension bridge, is an interesting glacial formation, which is of a circular shape and about 80 feet deep. In it is wedge rock, a formation in the shape of a slice of pie. Sugar Creek is a clear running stream, which travels in a generally northeast to southwest direction as it cuts across west central Indiana. The source lies in Tipton County, and the entire river length to the Wabash Confluence is approximately 90 miles. Sugar Creek is not Indiana's fastest, nor is it the most challenging canoe water, but it is generally conceded to be the most beautiful stream in the state. It runs either through or along a Girl Scout camp, Pine Hills Nature Preserve, Shade State Park, Turkey Run State Park, and Alley Memorial Forest. Mississippian and Pennsylvanian sedimentary rocks have been exposed by the erosive action of the stream. An added attraction to the area are the many covered bridges over Sugar Creek. Trail 3 will take you to the Punch Bowl a pothole that was scoured out by glacial erratics caught in the swirling backwash. The Narrows Covered Bridge, which spans Sugar Creek, was originally built in 1882. It is a pedestrian bridge now and is accessible from several of the trails in the park. The Lieber Cabin on Sunset Point is a short distance northwest of the hotel. This cabin was built by Daniel Gay about 1841 and moved to its present site in 1917. Several of the logs of tulip or yellow poplar are 30 feet long, 30 inches wide, and 6 inches thick. The Old Log Church, built in 1871, is located on the ridge above Turkey Run Hollow. It was moved to the park in 1923. It is an example of the pioneer church used by early Hoosiers. Acquiring the land in 1825, Captain Lusk built a grist mill that was completed in 1829. The Lusk home was finished in 1841. Thanks to the family stewardship, they preserve the pristine nature of the land. The restored home is open for tours seasonally. The tour is interesting and informative and is definitely worth doing. Here are some amazing views of the park. Thank you for joining Southwestern Indiana Historical Society on a virtual trip to Turkey Run State Park. We hope you've enjoyed the tour and look forward to more of these coming out over the next few months.